Welcome back to Walsall Fang TV. We have an update for you. Four players have uh, signed contracts. They are players that were sort of with us or in and around us last season. Uh, first, that was Jack Earing. We know he's out injured. Uh, Walsall looking after him. It's nice that we've not uh, just cut him away. Um, but we're hoping that he can uh, get back to fitness and um, get be part of the team again. That would be good. Uh, Joe Folks, this one's a bit of a surprise really, uh, he's pretty much been at Kidderminster for two seasons and uh, with how well they've been progressing and how well he's been playing with them, I'm surprised he hasn't jumped ship really and uh, and gone to Kidderminster. So it's uh, good news, um, a young developing player has decided to stay with Warsaw. so uh, welcome Joe Folks, he's definitely going to be uh, competing for a, a first team slot next season. Probably back up at the moment for Joe Riley, but you never know. Um, third one, Marv. Um, we haven't had many coming through the youth. Obviously, Ram has sort of come onto the fringes of the first team, and uh, it's good that uh, we've got another one there, Marv. But I don't think, I don't think uh, in all honesty, he's quite first team ready yet. But being in and around the first team is obviously going to be a bonus for him. So um, it's good that Walsall are trying to develop him. The final one of the four, Taylor Allen. I am very surprised Walsall offered him a contract, really. Um, he's not a bad player, but hasn't really been outstanding. And if Walsall are looking to improve the squad, um, Taylor Allen, does he do that? Um, maybe we haven't seen the best of him yet. He did get plenty of appearances um, before uh, Liam Gordon came on the scene, of course. But he's one I'm not sure about, really. I'd like to see more from him. Uh, and Walsall have got another year. Um, giving him another year with a, an option of another year. But he certainly needs to improve. So uh, some good coaching, perhaps, may sort of help him get there. Um, looking at the squad now, so we pretty much we pretty much have our first team squad set. Um, with the signing of Chris Hussey, it does point towards Walsall staying with the uh, three at the back, the 3-5-2 or the 3-4-1-2. Which, of course, would have Hussey, Daniels and McKenty in front of Owen Evans. Uh, Riley and Gordon at wing-backs. Comley and Sturk in the middle. With Hutch in the cam roll. With Matt and Knowles. But when you look a bit deeper. Um, yes, we have still got players to bring in. We know that. Um, what do we need to bring in? Um, keeper, Jackson Smith, potentially. Is going to join us from uh, the Wolves on loan. Uh, would we prefer a more experienced goalkeeper? Perhaps we would. Would be a bit safer than cover for centre half. Hussey obviously is uh, of advancing years and uh, with uh, rolling mayonnaise and uh, out injured, we are short of cover if Hussey was to uh, get a knock and needed some time out. Um, Gordon, obviously Allen would be back up for that position. Folks would be back up position for Royley. Um, Comley, um, there's the CDM. Earring would be the backup, but he's not yet fit. Uh, Sturk, um, he perhaps got Ronan Mayer would be back up for that position. Or rather for Hutch. Uh, Mayer would be back up for Hutch. Um, but still seems a little bit light in there. We'd like to bring extra in, but we still need to develop our own players as well. Uh, up front, Jamil Matt, Tom Knowles. <sighs> Marv is not ready to be stepping into the first team just yet. Not if we want to be finishing uh, in the top half of the table. So I think we definitely need at least two strikers coming in, plus maybe a third sort of development player. Somebody like Douglas James Taylor, perhaps. Um, so then we need a versatile midfield player, CDM kind of guy. 
uh, cover for the centre half and then uh, the likes of uh, Jackson Smith of course in goal so we have some players to come in Matt Sadler is talking about that we're close on a number um, there is a bit of a shady rumour that uh, Danny Johnson is still in conversation uh, with Warsaw. The question is, if he really wanted to come back, how much would he uh, be umming and ahhing? He's uh, maybe waiting to see whether he gets any other offers, whether he gets an offer in League One or something. But uh, having DJ back would certainly be, be a big boost, wouldn't he? Certainly be a big boost. Um, but I think we need another striker as well as that. I think Jamil Matt is perhaps in the Andy Williams role um, rather than uh, absolutely leading the line. But that depends who else we can bring in, of course. Um, Knowles, is he our perfect guy to be playing up front? Or perhaps could he be coming back and cover for Royley? So uh, we could move things around a bit. We were just 17 in the squad. But as we say, with uh, Rowling and Jack Earing injured, that's 15. Marv is very, uh, very raw, I think. So that takes us down to 14. Uh, Folks obviously hasn't, uh, hasn't played in the Football League yet, but he's developing well. He's much more ready than some of the others. But, yeah, so 14 first-teamers. We definitely need four or five more, at least. Wolfsfang TV, looking forward to some announcements next week. Join the pain. Thanks for watching.